Hello. Thank you for joining me as ever. I really appreciate it. I've spent the a good part of the day gardening again. And whilst I was doing that, my thoughts were wandering. But I was thinking back to what I'd said in the piece that I posted this morning about those of us who are not very good at pushing our thoughts, our ideas, ourselves forward, making our voice heard against the silent or the not so silent majority. And I thought, yes, but what about those that we can't seem to get to shut up? So this is about those very special, in their own minds, people. Many years ago, I, I knew one such person, and she liked her voice to be heard on the radio or on the television. And she put herself forward as a child-rearing expert. Okay, yes, she had children, but she had a full-time live-in nanny. So to me that puts a bit of a spin on her concept of child rearing and therefore not an expert. And I always go back to the definition of expert. An expert, X is a has been and a spurt is a little drip under pressure. So there we are, I rest my case. But the person about whom I'm thinking at present is a certain female who lives over in the US of A who feels that it's her God-given right, probably her duty, that she puts over her ideas to each and every one of us ad nauseum. So, okay, if she focused on one or two things and kept to those, but no, we go from one to another, whatever is highlighted. And it reminded me of a Wild Western movie, either the tumbleweed <laughs> rolling around, or the, the old hobos who used to go in the open trucks, carriages, don't know what you call them, of the, the railways that seem to be ever so long and trundle along ever so slowly so that they could just hop on and hop off again. That uh, this person hops onto one of these carriages, puts out a great big word salad, very often including words from others that are given no recognition for their words, and then hops off onto another one aiming to get a step at a time nearer to what she wants, where she wants to be. Not that I know what or where that is. But I thought, why are these people like this? Do they not get the message that we don't want to hear? But the press pick up on all of their messages and put them out there. And the latest bandwagon to be jumped on is the situation in America with Wade versus Roe or Roe versus Wade, I can never remember which way round, that has now been written out or whatever has happened to it, meaning that abortions are already illegal in some places and other states are in the process of sorting this out. Okay, I don't believe in abortion as a, a form of contraception, but certainly it's a form of birth control. Say if a mother has been raped, abused, if the baby is not forming properly and is not going to be viable 
does that mean that these women will have to now continue with their pregnancies? I don't know. But this is the bandwagon onto which this person has jumped and is already putting out messages. So it will be interesting to see what those messages are and what the claims are and what her truth is. Because sadly, a lot of what she says is her truth and not the truth, allegedly. On that note, I will call it a day, go and fill my rumbling tummy and speak to you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you for listening. Bye.